While Warren Buffett has no problem basking in the limelight, his three children, Howard, Susie, and Peter, are pretty content to stay out of it. But for nine years, Fox Business has brought the Buffett kids kicking and screaming. No, <laughs> they love it. Together for an annual exclusive interview. This year, though, with women finding a much louder voice when it comes to fighting sexual harassment and closing the gender pay gap, we now welcome one of the most important women in Warren Buffett's life, his daughter, Susie. Welcome. Good Thank to have you. you, Susie. It's fun to be here. You grew up in the 50s and 60s. Uh, was your dad one of those 50s dads who uh, <laughs> guided, <Lord> his, <laughs> guided his daughter sort of more traditionally into traditional paths, or was he a feminist even back then? He was not at all a traditional, no. Um, I still remember him sitting at the dinner table talking about how at that time women had few options for work, nurses, teachers, secretaries, um, and how I, he was talking about how half the workforce really wasn't being taken advantage of as they could be and, and having the opportunities that they could have to shine. And um, he never treated me any differently than the boys as far as you should do this or you should do that. Uh, it was a completely equal, equal opportunity household. Yeah, how did you come to that, Warren? Well, it was interesting. I had two sisters, one on each side age-wise, and they, uh, they scored the same as I did on tests and all that sort of thing. They had better personalities, and, <laughs> and, and they, uh, you know, they did not have the same opportunities remotely that I did. And, and, and nobody said you didn't, but uh, parents loved all of us equally and all that. But basically, the, 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 the message was uh, marry well and marry young. Well, and, and um, that was a bit, you know, it was ridiculous, the talent that was wasted. We caught up with Kathy Ireland, uh, the former supermodel, Sports Illustrated cover. She says, Warren, that you really inspired her and gave her the attention to, to really run with her business, which is now Kathy Ireland Worldwide, selling at the Nebraska Furniture Mart. Did you, Susie, ever consider going into the family business? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, I just didn't. Um, I don't know that any of us did, really. Mm -hmm. Um, it wasn't pushed on us in any way. Uh, and my parents basically said, you know, figure out what you love and go do it. And they supported us no matter what we did. You know, my brother dropped out of Stanford after his freshman year because he wanted to play his music. And there was nothing, nobody at home saying you need to stay in school or don't do your music. They supported all three of us completely. Um, Susie, Susie was three credits short. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm the doing, closest to graduating. And, everything, and she just decided, you know, what's the reason? To take one more course, you know, I've I, I learned what I want to learn. And, and so if my children, if we pool their credits, we've got a degree, you know. But we, have, we, we don't get told it, you know, once, once a year, it goes around the family. Um, you know, at, in this day and age, uh, the gender pay gap is a big deal here. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the United Kingdom, they're now making companies um, basically report what they pay their people. And it's been revealed a very ugly underside that many companies for the same work are paying women less than that. Uh, but the regulation is bringing that to light. Do you think United States companies should be forced to regulate and, and to reveal what they pay for compensation for men and women? I don't know. I, generally speaking, regulation on regulation, I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't think that makes the country more competitive or anything. But, but there are times when you... The best way to get something accomplished is to embarrass somebody. <laughs> and, and finally, um, Susie, in just the last few seconds here, what would you like to still see your dad accomplish? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see him accomplish blowing out the candles at his 100th birthday. Oh, How about that? I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. You'll take it. It's great to have you. Thank you. Susie Buffett. And uh, happy birthday coming up, right? Thank you. We're going to have a big 65th. I was Elvis Presley at the 60th. He, he was. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'll do this time. <laughs> Maybe you can dress as Elon Musk. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to buy 33,000 shares of Berkshire A today. <laughs> Great to have you. Good Thank to you. see you, Susan.